On the show, I will process a blast out material uh, in a volcanic, volcanic eruption and um, simulating the rule of gases uh, in a volcanic activity. So, we want to explain that gas, gas pressure uh, can cause a liquid to float up and, um, and um, the power um, and the root. And we uh, want to also appreciate that gases bring uh, solids and liquid to the surface and uh, can uh, blast them out in a volcanic uh, uh, eruption. So the nature of a volcanic um, eruption depends on many factors, including the type of um, underlying magma, its uh, temperature, and the quantities of um, the quantities of uh, gases dissolved under pressure, the thickness um, of the overlying rock, and uh, its, its extent of a fracture. A small range of um, these um, variables is um, maybe seen um, in uh, this activity, and um, eruption are caused only if um, is uh, released. Um, uh, um, above a magma chamber and, um, uh, and um, uh, allowing a dissolved gas to come out of a solution and expand and uh, force out uh, lava and uh, rock fragments. Uh, one of the type when um, the lava is uh, floating uh, is um, called the pumice. And the liquid um, lava is not only um, product that uh, we have uh, uh, after the volcanic eruption. And the simple demonstration that showed, um, showed that uh, the gases play a vital role for um, propelling liquid lava and um, solid fragments out. Okay. The first instruction place some of the baking soda into a bottle. Place in another bottle of vinegar to box some soap and the red food coloring. <laughs> And the red food coloring <laughs> Pour in the bottle some of the vinegar. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.